<laughs> so Beyonce jumped down on you. She jumped down. Oh, she was like on a windowsill. Right. We was in Vegas. She said, I come on, I'm talking to her. She jumped down. She was like, duh, duh, duh. and I'm like, wait. What is Speaking about his most recent confrontation with the Carter family, 50 Cent revealed that it taught him about where he stands with them. And similarly, they aren't also his biggest fans, as he claimed the missus, Queen Bee herself, attacked him over his bad blood with her husband. Several years ago, during a visit to Las Vegas to talk to her husband, rapper Jay Z, 50 Cent was unexpectedly confronted by none other than Beyonce over his feud with Jay-Z. According to 50 Cent, Beyonce jumped out at him and was ready to fight. She was on a windowsill. We were in Vegas, he recalled during Friday's appearance on The Breakfast Club. When recounting the confrontation he had with Beyonce in Las Vegas, 50 Cent speculated that she might have thought he and her husband were in the middle of an argument before she jumped out and confronted him with a no-nonsense, confrontational expression. And I'm like, wait, what is you doing? That's me and Jay-Z stuff, this ain't got nothing to do with you, girl. 50 Cent revealed to host Charlemagne Thaw God and DJ Envy. She's throwing me off now. Cause I don't know what exactly how to respond to this. <laughs> <laughs> you are still Beyonce. Admitting that he was caught off guard by Beyonce's response to their disagreement, 50 Cent revealed that he was quite surprised and taken aback by her reaction, as it was a situation that he had not anticipated. I was like, oh, ST. I didn't really know what to do, he recalls. It was one of those situations where you were like, whoa, if you say this to Jay, he'll look at you and go, nah, that happened. According to 50 Cent, he was at a loss for how to respond to Beyonce during their confrontation because, as he put it, she is Beyonce and he never expected to find himself in that kind of situation situation with her. 50 said, I'm like, whoa, 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 she throwing me off now cause I don't know exactly how to respond to this. You are still Beyonce. She brought all of the sexy over with that energy jumping off. During the show, co-host Charla Magni Thagot took a jab at Beyonce's family by mentioning her sister Solange, who gained notoriety for her physical altercation with Jay-Z in an elevator following the 2014 Met Gala. You're lucky Solange wasn't there, Charla Magni told 50 Cent, referencing Bay's little sister's infamous elevator fight with Jay back in the day. 50 also joined the fun adding, if Solange was there, I would have had to reboot, Solange was popping in that elevator like it was nothing. With some gangster s t going on, Jay couldn't do nothing, huh? In 2014, after attending an after-party for the Met Gala at the Standard Hotel in New York City, Jay-Z and Beyonce's sister, Solange, were captured on surveillance video engaging in a physical altercation in an elevator, an incident which 50 Cent and other members of the show were referring to. The video footage showed Solange yelling, hitting, and kicking Jay-Z while a bodyguard attempted to intervene. Although Beyoncé also stepped in to try to defuse the situation, Solange persisted in her attack on her brother-in-law. Upon the footage hitting the media, several people started to create their own narratives. At the time of the incident, reports indicated that Solange had engaged in a heated argument with designer Rachel Roy prior to the physical altercation in the elevator with Jay-Z. According to a source, it was suggested that Jay-Z might have said or done something that provoked Solange's outburst. Following the public release of the elevator security footage, there was a lot of speculation about the circumstances that led to the altercation. At the time, the Carters and Solange issued a joint statement in response to the incident. It read, At the end of the day, families have problems and we're no different. We love each other and above all we are family. We put this behind us and hope everyone else will do the same. The conflict between 50 Cent and rap mogul Jay-Z dates back to the beginning of 50 Cent's career, as evidenced by their long-standing feud. The tension began with the controversial release of 50 Cent's track How to Rob in 1999, where he targeted a number of popular rappers at the time to generate buzz for himself. He had recently signed with Columbia Records and was awaiting the release of his debut album, Power of the Dollar, so he took the opportunity to name drop artists such as Buster Rhymes, Lil' Kim, Mace, Will Smith, DMX, Big Pun, Slick Rick, Master P, Diddy, and finally, Jay-Z to draw attention to his work. Following the release of How to Rob, many artists responded to 50 Cent, which was precisely the reaction he had hoped to elicit with the track. Even Jay-Z himself responded when the two met at the Summer Jam Festival. Shaka Zulu, who was working in radio at Columbia at the time, took the new artist backstage at Summer Jam to meet and greet with the press, giving them a chance to put a face to the name behind the song. 50 Cent also wanted to clarify that How to Rob wasn't meant to be taken seriously and was recorded purely for entertainment purposes. As 50 Cent recalls, Jay-Z was impressed by the track but made it clear that he wasn't going to let it go unnoticed. I ran into Jay at Summer Jam and he said, yo, I don't like that record you got. I love that record you got. Fiff recalls. He goes on to reveal that Jay bowed to respond, but I didn't know he meant right then. He go on stage. That's the first time I ever seen 30,000 people. 50 continued. He said, I'm about a dollar who the FCK is 50 cent. I ain't even know 30,000 people knew who 50 cent was. I should send him a bottle of champagne for that. Jay-Z himself confirmed that he had created a reference track for 50 Cent while preparing for his set backstage. 
During an interview with renowned DJ Funkmaster Flex, JC stated, That was actually the first time I performed that record. I ain't even know it. I was backstage trying to make sure that I could get it and I seen him. I bump right into him while he's backstage. I said that record you got is hot. I like that joint. He was like, thanks man. I say, but you know I'm about to go in, right? 50 Cent was thrilled with what had transpired because he had just received recognition from one of the biggest names in rap. With his buzz growing, Columbia Records finally decided to throw their weight behind him. Shortly after, JC released his fourth studio album, Ball 3, Life and Times of S. Carter, and on track No. 6, It's Hot, he apparently fired some bars at 50 Cent as he rapped the words go against Jigga. Your ass is dense, I'm about a dollar, what the F is 50 cents. In 50's mind, it was officially game on between him and Jay-Z, and he responded with a diss track titled Be a Gentleman, in which he warned Hop to watch what you say. The track later appeared on his compilation mixtape Guess Who's Back, which was released in April 2002. Unfortunately for 50 Cent, by the time the diss track was released, Jay-Z was preoccupied with his own issues involving Mob Deep and Nas and never responded to 50. Some speculate that Jay-Z may have intentionally ignored 50 Cent, but no one can say for sure since 50 Cent was eventually dropped from Columbia Records after being shot nine times. In 2002, 50 Cent came back stronger and released a compilation tape called Guess Who's Back followed by the G-Unit mixtape in June of the same year. His popularity rose again and labels were eager to sign him. Eventually, he signed a deal with Eminem and Dr. Dre at Shady Records. Jay-Z recognized 50 Cent's success and responded by instructing his artists to release new music and flood the market before 50 Cent released his debut album under Shady Records. Jay-Z had retired at this point, so he couldn't retaliate through a song diss, but he still found ways to respond to 50 Cent through the music of his artists. According to 50 Cent, his album showdown with Kanye West was more than just a battle between two artists, it was also a proxy war between him and Jay-Z. This claim makes sense because, at the time, Jay-Z was the president of Def Jam, which was Kanye's record label. 50 Cent believed that Jay-Z backed Kanye with everything he had to ensure that he won the competition, which ultimately led to Kanye outselling 50 Cent in their first week sales duel. I was competing against an artist whose label was doing everything and I mean everything to make sure he beat me. Jimmy Levine might not have cared about beating Kanye, but Jay-Z, who was the head of Def Jam at that time damn sure cared about beating me, 50 Cent wrote in his book Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter. Over the years, they have maintained a competitive relationship, although they have had their share of beef. While their clash with the Carters never reached a boiling point, 50 Cent and Jay-Z have never really seen eye to eye, and this has been the case since the early 2000s and continues up until this moment. One Twitter fan said, One thing about Beyonce, she really about that life. I still gag when 50 Cent tell the story about how she ran down on him and tried to fight him. Another added, So we now have on record that Beyonce has ran down on and checked both 50 Cent and Fab. When will your favorite rapper? Anyways, let's not forget that these details are based on theories and my opinions and should not be considered facts. That's it for this video. Bye!